Hi, so this is what's new in May 2021 for ClickSense SaaS. In this case, we've got a new ClickSense SaaS um, mobile application. So I'm going to look at it on the iPhone. So here you can see I've got my phone and we're going to have a look at connecting. So I've not actually connected to it before, so this is going to be interesting. But I just wanted to show how hopefully easy it's going to be and how intuitive the user interface is going to be. So here you can see we've got a nice clean interface. We're just going to go ahead and click on login. And fortunately I've already got my URL set up there. And I'm going to call this pre-sales. Click on add. So there we go, we've added that into there. So I'm guessing we just click on the login, so now I've just got to log in. To the app, so we've got single sign on, which is great. And now it's asking me if I want to allow notifications. So let's say yes, because I also want to be able to receive alerts at some point. So here you can see we've got a list of all our applications there. And we can add this to mobile to our mobile collection, which is quite useful. So it just uh, enables us to, to effectively add shortcuts, uh, shortcuts. So in here, I'm going to click on the, let's just do the consumer gives. It's like a generic demo app, which is always good. Yeah, let's just do that for now. And we'll click I'm done. Here you can see I've got now a tile list of my apps, so I will just go into the app. But before I do, let's just click on the options. So we've got the ability to make it available offline, make uh, available offline using bookmarks. That's pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that on the previous versions. We've also got the app details in there as well. So we can see the owner, the space when it was created. All good. I'm not going to download it just yet. But let's have a look at the uh, interface for the applications itself. Okay, so one of the first things to kind of point out when we've opened up one of our uh, applications is that in the new SaaS only uh, mobile application that they've gone for this kind of single visualization. You don't scroll up or down anymore. Um, you actually scroll uh, and slide sideways. So you've got that slide was uh, slideways transition as opposed to, to scrolling. That's one of the biggest kind of changes with this kind of interface. Um, here you can see that at the very top we've got KPI dashboard, that's one of the sheets. If we scroll to the, the left and right following a similar pattern, you can see we've got a list of all our sheets there. If I just quickly look at the app from my actual desktop and go to sheets, you can see we've got our public sheets, community, and published by me. If I just go back to the, um, if I go back to, to the mobile app, you can actually see that they're all combined up at the top there. It looks like, well, I don't know what order that actually is. It's not alphabetical, it's not in the same um, order. So that's a little bit funky, I guess. Um, there's no there's no separation between community sheets and the base sheets and, and the order doesn't stipulate that either, um, which is fine. It's not not a massive issue, but a bit unusual for, for user experience. Top right, we've got the search class. So that's effectively the smart search. So if I want to look at, let's say, canned goods, you can see it all populates. It's all really fast. It's all obviously must be executed on the server side as we'd expect. Um, so there I can select canned foods and I can make that selection and behind the scenes you can see the dashboard reflects because we've got single sign-on so it's a single user experience. And then at the bottom there, we've also got our selections applied. Before I go and select that, we can make selections within a visualization. So if I tap the visualization, it makes it full screen. I can go ahead and make, for example, a range selection. I could also click on the visual and I've got the lasso like with uh, the desktop there as well. And I can apply those selections further. 
Unfortunately, you know, especially when I go into a specific visualization, it'd be nice to be able to view it landscape. As you can see, it's stuck in that portrait view, uh, which squashes things. Um, or especially if you've got, you know, a time series with a lot of historic data, makes it a bit more difficult to actually consume that. I do have the ability to share these visualizations. So up at the top left hand corner there, you can see you've got the share icon. And there I've got the ability to, to save it as image. I can print it. I can also send it via various different means of uh, different mediums, uh, which is which is cool. Um, and then if we look at the at the bottom there, we've got our selection. So I, if I tap that, it doesn't do anything. If I slide it up though, um, you can see then I've got all my current selections. I can clear those or redefine those individually so let's just have a little play around with some of those and then also got kind of like the selections uh tool in there as well so i've got my master items by default but then i've also got all the other fields that exist within the application which is perfect uh, i've got bookmarks there as well there's none in this particular app but i could go ahead and create one So let's just go ahead and create that. And then there you can see it gives us the similar information that we had before. Just checking that the edit didn't do anything different to the uh, desktop version there. Let's come out of that. If I click on the three dots, I've got the ability to either step back or clear all selections. So let's go ahead, clear that, oh, and pop that down. Let's come out of that. If I go to one of my community sheets, I've actually set it up to be grid view as opposed to, to list view, which we uh, are typically used to. Um, and that's kind of like the standard. So if I go into the grid view, which is meant to be mobile specific, you can see then I've got the dashboard as it you know, pretty much appears behind, behind uh, the mobile view there. So you've got uh, the view again, when you're in grid view, you almost want to be, be able to look at that horizontally, but it's not going to let me do that. But I can click on each of these. Uh, it, it looks nice. It's just very compact in its current portrait view. Um, if I click on one of these objects, again, I guess it's part of the design consideration when you're creating a mobile specific sheet or visualization, you, you generally want to avoid those kind of landscape charts you want to kind of stick with your your pie charts your kpis um your 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 um uh, vertical or horizontal sorry bar uh, bar charts uh, you kind of generally want to keep away from time period chart based charts where you've got a lot of um historical data and, and, and you know typically favor landscape uh consumption but that's that's cool that's what you kind of expect with with mobile, I guess. Um, if I come out of uh, the application, you can see that we've also got alerts here at the bottom. I don't have any alerts yet, but I've also got some notifications there. So you can see I've been added to a particular session. Interestingly, I wonder if I, yes, that notification has now disappeared from there. So you can see it's all synchronizing very, very quickly, uh, which is what we like to see. And then I've got some setting options there to sort by and filter by. If I click on my profile user, you can see there we've got some details for um, submitting diagnostics, should anything happen, uh, or you know just kind of for performance sake, I guess. Also got the ability to limit the downloads to be Wi-Fi only, which is quite crucial for those on uh, restricted data plans. Um, no, it's, it's all good. It's, it's a nice, intuitive app. Um, well done. Amazing.